Hello, this is Builder Elephant, and welcome back to another review of the LEGO Ninjago Movie Minifigure Series. Today, we will be taking a closer look at minifigure number 15, Flashback Garmadon. It's interesting that they call this minifigure Flashback Garmadon. In reality, this minifigure is based on a possible future that Garmadon turned down. While Garmadon is explaining to his son Lloyd how he and his mother Coco met, fell in love, and had him, he then goes on to talk about how his mother decided the life of a conquering warlord was not for her or their baby. In a short 27 second clip, Garmadon imagines changing his ways to live a normal life with Coco. This short what-if scenario had a couple scenes with him wearing his 70s suit while living this possible reality. The leg piece is not only completely original, but looks amazing. Garmadon is wearing reddish-brown pants. Lego included orange shadowing for pleats to add texture to the fabric. The black belt with gold buckle has a ton of great details. You can see the belt loops and the clasp on the buckle itself. This particular piece could be useful for custom minifigure work. Garmadon uses two torso pieces to create his four arms. The bottom torso is the standard minifigure torso. This piece has him wearing a short sleeve, dark orange shirt. We can see his black arms and hands sticking out of the shirt. The only other printing is the simple black tie with a gold tie bar at the top. The gold line was a genius move by Lego. When the two torso pieces are together, it acts as a tie clip. If you want to use this torso independently for custom minifigure work, the gold line is now the top of the tie connecting it to the shirt. The upper torso piece continues the tie printing onto the short sleeve shirt. This time, we can see the tie knot at the top. The huge flared orange collar is a must for the 70s fashion. Rather than a smooth back, we get the bumpy armor. While I don't think the texture works, the single color of the shirt makes it a little less distracting. Although, because of this color, it reminds me of the chess guard used in a baseball game. It's nice when the original piece is clearly original. Garmadon's head with gold framed sunglasses fits that description. The glasses look great and match his 70s ensemble. While these large sunglasses cover most of his face, Lego made sure to include all those great details we see in the other movie minifigures. The light bluish gray lines used for his wrinkles give life to his static piece of plastic. Lego even managed to make Garmadon's sharp teeth smile look cool and relaxed instead of menacing. The short tan hair parted to the right is not an original piece, but it is a nice match to the hair used in the possible future Garmadon envisioned with him and Kelko. Even though it is a plain piece, it looks so ridiculous on Garmadon. I love this comical look of Garmadon with this conservative haircut. For such a short clip, Lego did an amazing job recreating the 70s style Garmadon is seen in the movie. The accessory, on the other hand, had nothing to do with what we saw in the movie, but purely from the imagination of the Lego design team. The movie did have two 2x2 two two tile pieces in the flashback sequence. One was for PR stuffed papers, and the other was a G plus K love note. Neither was as creative as the printing that came with this minifigure. The volcano home with a white picket fence is comedic gold, blending Garmadon's evil volcano lair with the ideal family home is the exact type of humor we can expect from Lego. I appreciate that the word home is spelled out on the bottom in jargon. The camera with a one by one translucent clear plate for the lens is not original, but a nice piece and goes with the picture Garmadon has taken of his lovely family home. Flashback Garmadon is a great minifigure for LEGO Ninjago fans. 
Garmadon was the main villain in the Lego Ninjago movie and a central character in the television show. The light-hearted version offers a fun variant for fans of the theme, but probably isn't valued as much for the larger Lego community. The character is based on a very brief and obscure scene from the movie itself. Even though I've seen the movie a couple times, I still had to go back and find the exact moment this version appeared in the film. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.